Lewd conduct. Okay, RP reports suspect is urinating in the street. Okay, so we have a guy taking a piss in public. That's always nice. He's probably intoxicated, so we'll head over there and try to figure out what's going on. It's the first time I've ever, ever gotten a lewd conduct call. Cow, get out of the road. Jesus. Call a farmer when I was a bull, I think. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and try to catch up to this guy urinating in the street. And this appears to be him. Yep, this is him. How's it going? Let's have a chat with him. Hello, sir. How you doing? Hold it. Can I... I'm trying to get him to interact with me on foot. He doesn't seem to be... Hello? Sir? Nope, that's not what I want. Come on. It's like halfway working, but it's not really. You're supposed to be able to... There we go. All right, let's ask for his ID. How's it going, dude? Let me get your ID. Run your name real quick. Just want to make sure you're not wanted. That truck was driving like a dick. Rod... What? Rodriguez. Rodriguez. I'm so terrible with names. Not even funny. Okay, no active warrants or anything, so... Uh, but he's urinating in the street, so we're just going to make sure... We're going to run a breathalyzer on him real quick. I just want to make sure that he's not too intoxicated. He doesn't have any alcohol. Well, then why is he pissing in the street? All right, we're just going to issue him a citation for uh, lewd conduct and, uh, you know, public urination, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. And then we'll, uh, we'll let him go about his day, pretty much. I mean, that's all it is. Ticketable offense. I'm not going to arrest the guy. He doesn't have any warrants or anything, so that's it. Have fun. Okay, well, you know, pretty boring call, but uh, was necessary. I never got one of those, too, so I wanted to try them out. It's pretty cool. So uh, we'll see what else we can get. Ooh, impaired driver. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, reports of an impaired driver, and we see them. Eyes on them. We need to cross this highway. Oh, they're crossing towards us. Oh, my God, his car is fucked. All right, so it's going to be a red... Uh, Thing I'm a bomber? I don't really know. What is this? Uh, fugitive. That's right. Okay. Tow away any damaged vehicles. Yeah. All right. We're gonna run a plate real quick on him before we pull him over, just to make sure this guy's not want like a serial killer or something like that. All right. Harold Fleming. What? Harold Fleming? Wasn't that a? That's definitely a name. That's definitely a big person. Harold Fleming. That is somebody. I know that. I just don't... I can't remember who it was. Okay, so we stopped him, but we'll go up. We'll we'll have a chat with him real quick. Find out what it is. So, impaired driver. Um... I think it said, what, why to speak with this guy? First speech, uh, I don't know what happened. Can I go? I got someone waiting at home, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, you cannot. Alright. Why don't you give me your ID? I just want to run your name, make sure you're not, uh, crash on the floorboard, driver seems angry. We'll have a chat with him about if he's had anything to drink after we run his name. I just want to make sure he's not wanted. Alright, Harold Fleming. He was like a, like a art, like a writer or something, I think. Harold Fleming, that's not how you spell Harold. Hard on, <laughs> hmm. Right, was that it? No, that was it. Alright, so he is valid and he has no warrants. Okay. I'm just going to talk with him real quick, make sure he, uh, ask him if he's had anything to drink tonight. We'll use this menu real quick. Uh, have you been drinking tonight? Nope, he says. Um, alright, well, let's go ahead and just run a breathalyzer on him. Wait for this fucking stupid-ass sand king to run me over. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, we're going to run a breathalyzer on him. See if he's intoxicated, and he is, he has alcohol, but he's not impaired. He's not over the legal limit. So, unfortunately, though, he cannot drive his vehicle. So we're going to ask him to step out. He looks so drunk. He looks really drunk, but he's not. Okay, before I let him go... Sorry, this is not what I wanted. Before I let him go... He's on the phone. Dude, he's so hammered. 
Okay, we're just gonna... I don't know. Alright, we're gonna place him... Why the fuck do I have an automatic pistol? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just re just place him under arrest. He didn't, you know, breathalyze that he was over the legal limit, but... He, I mean, the way he's walking, he's he's hammered. But, I don't know. So we're just gonna take him in, we'll let the jail decide, maybe blood test, maybe my breathalyzer's a bit broken or something, I don't know. So, let's go ahead and put him in the vehicle. But, uh, as of right now, we're booking him under, uh... You, you coming with us, or what? In what are you doing? Come on. Get in the police car. Nobody likes to go to jail. There you go. Alright, let's go ahead and call a tow truck for his vehicle. But yeah, I was going to let him go because he can't drive his vehicle in the state that he is. He has no lights. <laughs> and it's smoking pretty bad. So, I was going to, you know, make sure that he, uh didn't drive away in it and he, the way he was walking I just he was too drunk so we'll let the uh, police station run a blood test on him and maybe that maybe my breathalyzer is broken but pretty good broken him under uh, driving while intoxicated so let's uh, drop him off at the station Attention, all units. Gunshots reported. shots fired on officers uh, oh shit uh, what okay let's go ahead and try to respond to this Oh, I'm not sure where... Uh, oh, okay. This worked. Alright, shots fired on officers. Let's go ahead and get over there as soon as we can. Here we go. We got somebody running down the street here. Yep, there it is. Take cover. Where is he? I lost sight on him. There he is. Oop, shit. Is he down? Get him. Get him. I think he's down. All right, let's go ahead and move up. Let's make sure he is actually down. Yep, he is. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is shots firing on officers, but uh, where are the officers at? I don't see them anywhere. <laughs> it's only me. I was the officer. It was a future calling. Shots fired on officers when you show up. All right, so we'll let Coroner pick up this guy, and we'll continue our patrol. That was a pretty easy call. Oh, we got reports of a homicide. Let's go ahead and respond to that. Gunfire? No, that's not good. Where, though? What? Wants us to drive through the barn. Okay. All right, GPS. All right, homicide reported. I think this means... That there's a guy with a gun, I think. I think that was what it was last time I remember. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's like a mugging, pretty much. All right, they're taking off. Suspect is a male running southbound. Uh, I'm knocking this over. No, I'm not, because I can't. I knocked my headlights out. That's not good. All right, we need to catch up to him. Where is he? Where'd he go? He's in this damn ravine. Off-roading. Oh, shit. Duke boys. Car's already fucked. Doesn't matter anymore. Hit him with the ram bar. Hit him with the ram bar. There you go. Oh, I hit a bunny. Ah, oh, shit. I'm a dick. Stop running. Alright. Tased him. He's giving up. Thankfully. Because I saw him with a weapon, so... Wasn't going to take any chances. That's why I pretty much insta-tased him and didn't just try to arrest him. I already knew he was armed. So... We're just going to place him under arrest for, uh, I guess, a mugging. It's not so much homicide because he didn't he didn't kill anybody. So we're going to run his name real quick, though, just to make sure he uh, doesn't have any major warrants or anything like that because he's already going to jail. But, uh, you know, we want to make sure we know who he is. No warrants, valid license, blah, blah, blah. So we'll take him into jail and hopefully fix our car on the way. So let's do that. Oh, we got another call of another hit and run. I will definitely take that because I do like these. Okay, let's head over here and get the story from the witness. How the hell was a hit and run done down here? What are people even doing down here? Alright, the witness I'm guessing is this guy right here. Have a chat with him. Hello, sir. 
What'd you see? I saw what happened, officer. That car just hit that poor pedestrian and took off. The windshield shattered and the car has a lot of front end damage, you see. I don't know why I'm in the 50s. Uh, the car was a graphite colored ingot. License plate number was 64HTK085. 64HTK085. All right. LA Noir. Memories. Um, all right, let's go ahead and respond to this area. We'll try to look for a, so it's a gray ingot. So it's a gray uh, station wagon, pretty much old school style station wagon. So we'll head in this area and try to find them. Uh, 64 something TK something something. Okay. Search area updated down the road. He's probably heading north. Fucked that fence up and my car. Huh. Is that him up there? I thought I saw tail lights. I do see tail light. Uh, that no oh, oh. ingot right there. Is that an ingot? That's an ingot. Right here. Yeah. Glad I noticed the tail lights. Let's run the license plate. Make sure. I saw tail lights and I was like, that kinda looks like an ingot way up there. And thankfully it is. Yep, 64 HTK 085. All right, let's go ahead and just make sure he's got no flags on him, like the last guy, Steve Stilfer. I don't know. Go ahead and light him up, pull him over. There is a boar. There's a freaking huge boar. Oh, God, it's going to... Oh, so close to hitting that person. I thought it was going to be a, just a disaster. All right, come on. Let's pull it over. Pull it all the way over. Or not. That works. I'm okay with that. Okay, let's have a chat with this person. Figured out why they uh, hit and run. Probably gonna take off. You gonna take off? No. You're not. Yep, there's the front end damage. Got no headlights. Have a chat with him. Let's get his ID. And uh, we'll run his name. Yep, Steve Stifler. Stifler? Hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and run his name. He is wanted by the LSSD. That is not good for him. So he's wanted and he did a hit and run. So yeah, he's gonna have some issues. Let's go ahead and have him step out of the vehicle. Why don't you step out so I can place you under arrest? Oh, and it looks like he's a part of the Vagos, the Vagos game. No, 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 stop it. You're really gonna run? Hold on, hold on. Let me get this. Ah! God damn it, I hate foot chases. Fucking hate foot chases. Called in like three, four backup units because I freaking hate foot chases so much. So yeah, it looks like he's part of the Vagos gang um, just because he's wearing a jersey that says Vagos on it. <laughs> so... <laughs> Not inconspicuous. I don't know if he was trying to be. There you go. Come on. Ah, poop. Come on. There we go. Get the fuck down. Make me run. How come I don't get a red dot laser on my taser? All right. Hands behind your back. Come on. Place you under arrest. You're going to come with me. I'm going to beat you with a phone book. You made me freaking run. Uh, okay. So we got this guy in custody. He is uh, hit and run and wanted by the LSSD already. So if we can get back, if his vehicle is still there, we'll search it. But something tells me it's not going to be. So let's go ahead and just get him back in the vehicle. All right. So his vehicle is not here. So we can't search it, but uh, we're just going to book him under hit and run and for his previous warrants. So pretty good catch. And uh, we'll see if we can get another one. All units, Shots fired on officers. And I am that officer. So let me respond so I can get shot at. So it's probably going to be a single person with a single assault rifle standing in the middle of nowhere with no other officers around. And I'm going to be the one he's going to shoot at. So let's go ahead and just get this over with. That appears to be him right there. Ouch. That is him. Nope. You are taking cover in the wrong area, you idiot. Oh, my God. Okay, my health is actually pretty low, and I'm kind of nervous. Oh, fuck. Oh, get down. Die. Die. 
Die. Reload. Shoot him. Shoot him. Is he down? Ah, yeah, shit. He almost got me. He really almost got me. Oh, that was close. Again, they all have that bullpup assault rifle. Bullpup? Bullpulp? Bullpulp? Like pulp, like orange juice, bullpulp. Ah, whatever. Corner doesn't matter. It is what it is. All right, we'll leave his dead body there. We'll let the uh, coyotes take him, and uh, we're gonna go repair my car because it's pretty fucked. We're gonna we're gonna stop this guy on a dirt bike right here, just because uh, we've been taking a lot of calls, and this guy is riding around without a helmet. So let's go ahead and stop him. We'll. I mean, he probably won't have anything on him, but uh, he's gonna take off. Okay, never mind. We're gonna be in pursuit of this dirt bike. Unknown reasons why he just decided to take off. If we can get close enough, whoa, we'll run the plate that he doesn't have. Sanchez's don't have plates, but whatever. We'll run his plate. Oh, God. And we'll see if he has any warrants or anything. That was a mistake. We are falling far behind. We need to... Uh, what the shit was that? Well, was that a hit and run call that just uh, appeared in front of me? Uh, Mac something. And he's something with nothing. Okay. Jesus, that was a lot of information that was thrown at me as I was trying to drive, as I was trying to realize what was appearing in front of me. <laughs> wow. Alright, so he has no flags. He has two citations, Mac something. I couldn't see what the last name was, like Felger or Flieger or Lammer. I don't know. So, we'll see what it is. Let's go ahead and call for backup. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because the backup unit is literally just going to destroy this dude. We're just going to smack right into him. Did we take the jump? Let's do it. We so don't have enough speed. We don't have enough speed. We don't have enough speed. We don't have enough speed. Yeah. Yeah. We had plenty of speed. What did we hit? That was amazing. Stunt jump completed. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I decided to do that, but I did. All right, still chasing this guy. Uh, backup units with us. They're going to ram this dude off the bike. I guarantee it. They're going to like the way he looks as he's dead on the ground. I can guarantee it. Go ahead. You got it. Give you guys permission. Go for it. Well, the thing that I really like about this texture, by the way, I just thought about it. It looks like an updated new version of theirs. Like theirs is kind of basic, just this sheriff, and there's like a you know badge on the side and everything. And it looks good. But then they decided, oh, let's upgrade, and like they kind of use the same colors and stuff like that. I think that's like kind of a like an all white with a brown. I think it just fits in the world very well. So, hats off to Zach for making an awesome texture. He's uh, he's really cranking them out. So, I'm gonna get back into making textures. I just uh, I gotta find the time. Gotta find the time and the inspiration, really, because Zach, you know, he's he's really good at that kind of stuff. And not that I'm not, but I just takes me a little bit longer to. Kind of getting an idea in my head. So. Anyway. Uh, backup unit just died. They just... Pain in the had a heart attack. I'm not going to talk about it. What just happened. That didn't, that didn't happen. That's how much I'm not going to talk about it. Okay, we need to... We're just going to bump this guy. Maybe we can, like, off-balance him or something. And he can go down. I'm not really sure how you would end up motorcycle pursuit. Probably get in front of him and slow him down. Makes the most sense. Come on. What's he doing? He turning around. Uh, no. Not okay with that. I think that's... I don't know if I've seen him do that before. That was actually pretty impressive. Okay. Let's, uh, let's stick with him. We'll really, I mean, uh, well, let's call another backup unit in. I don't want to smack this dude off his bike, but I'm okay with letting the, the backup unit do it. So, we'll see if we can get another unit here and they can kind of deal with it. Let me give him another bump. Yeah, he's not really, he's pretty stable on that bike. We have a 1099 in... Still waiting on my backup units. They're all like really far b back there, like by the loss. I'm not really sure what they're doing. We'll just stick with them for now. We don't have much of a choice. Our car is really messed up. Oh god, Sanking. Oh god. He's actually doing pretty good. 
Gotta be honest, he's doing a lot better than some of the vehicle pursuits, or the car pursuits we've had today. Ugh. All right, if this guy, if I'm not gonna get back up, I'm gonna have to ram this dude myself. Let's actually get in front of him and try to get him to flip around. Shit. All right, come on, hold up, hold up. Whoa, 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 shit. I was not looking. Sorry. Call the police. They'll handle it. I don't know. Look how far my backup units are. They're way back there. <sighs> okay. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna have to try it. Let's try to get in front of him. God, this dude does not want to give up. There you go. Turn around. There you go. That's what I wanted. I wanted to annoy him enough to turn it. Because then look at the map. See, now we got our backup units showing up. There they are. Get in front of him. There you go. There you go. You, you're, damn, your guys' car is fucked. Oh, shit. I'll get out of the way. I'll get out of the way. It's all good. It's all you. It's all you. Shit on a dick. God damn it. What the hell? Oh, then they fucked their wheel. Now they're useless. Dude. It's, they fucked both their wheels. It's not that hard to drive. Alright, we need to end this. Oh, God. I thought I was going to kill him then. Alright. Alright. Come on, dude. Let's just give you a little whoop. Nope. Missed it. All right. Another. Let's give him a little. Hmm, uh, these are all noises that are necessary, if you're wondering. Jesus. Driving is that hard, apparently. Whoa. Dude. You. <laughs> both your steering wheels. Your steering wheel. Look, now your car's on fire. Both of their front wheels are pinned in. They can't do anything. Get around the loss. Thank you guys for pulling over. Nice. There we go. Now we got a unit that's actually operable. Get the full up. Oh shit! You're so lucky that was in the, the, the uh, that was destructible. Cause I oh I would have died. I mean my car's bad enough. That would have totally taken me out of the pursuit. Come on, dude. Give it up. Like seriously. Gah, but. Let's request a pit on him. I don't know what... I mean, I think that's just going to help us out if we can get him slow enough. But at least... No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, okay. We were able to cancel that call. That's good. Damn! Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what I didn't want to do. Yep. I would say pitch... pitch. I would say pit is successful. Yeah. I think so. He's dead now, too. Steam off my piss. Oh, my God. You guys going to write the report on this? Because uh, I was trying to do the right thing, and you guys just obliterated that dude. That was amazing. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. That was good. That was a, I think that was a good ending. Because, I mean, that was just... No, no, no. That SUV is going to kill somebody. Oh, that was pretty hilarious as the ending. I mean... I knew they were going to do that, but uh, that was insane, so crazy. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, all the mods that I'm using will be linked in the description. This Crown Vic is not released yet. I, I'm still in the works of trying to figure out if it's going to be released. They're, they're, we're trying to get a way to do it. So just, just stick in there, and we'll definitely... At some point soon, I'll play with a Crown Vic that is released that everyone will be able to get. I know it's kind of frustrating when you see somebody using something that you can't use. And that's definitely what I don't want to do. I want to make sure that I can use mods that everybody can use. But this was like the first Crown Vic I was given. And whether it was released or not, I was just like, Crown Vic, give it. So I'll definitely try to make sure that all the vehicles are either definitely going to be released at some point or are released. So I don't want to use anything that won't ever be released because that's just kind of not fair. So um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Next week, I have kind of a little mm, pre, not preview, a little extra for you guys. I have a little cool Crown Vic to use next time, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check the description for links to mods and whatnot. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like these videos. It really does help me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.